Welcome back to Let's Play Environmental Station Alpha. Last time, um, we doomed all of humanity. This time, let's not. Very simply, actually, by not going down there where the final boss is. I actually feel bad because I didn't go far enough to the left or right sides of that room in order to map either of these two sides. The entire room is not actually three screens wide, it's about two screens wide. But the half screens, it only goes about half a screen into each of those other two screens. And without getting onto the far edges, I didn't map them, so those will just remain forever unmapped. So in the meantime, let's take care of something else. Let's not go there. Let's go here. We're going into the ruins. A place that we have been several times before. I forget how to get where I'm going. Is this it? Yes, it is. A place that I've been several times before. But we've not had the Dash Booster X the last time I was here. As you may recall, outside here... First of all, there's a room along the far right side here, screen, that I never went in, so I feel bad about that. But we came here where there were these four... No, never mind. Six pillars. And a statue... of... something. What if we fly around a little bit? You'll find a teleporter. Hmm. Concerning. And I also see what looks like four keys above us. Keep this place in mind, because we're going to be coming back to there shortly. In the meantime... I'm not going the right way. Come back, shy friend! In the meantime, let's head outside. Because you'll also note we've never been to the upper left corner of this room. Creepy guys here. And so is a bird. I don't know if we've seen any of this language just yet. But this is the language of the ancients. And it's honestly a very simple character replacement language. And in order to progress any further from this point, we need to know this language. Speaking to this bird here is our first hint at that. What he's saying here is the same thing as he said in the last block of text. 
which I believe was learn their language well. So we know the word, we know the characters that replace all of those letters. From here, simply by encountering other bits of written dialogue, we can kind of reverse engineer the rest of the language. But the game assumes from this moment forward that we can read this ancient language. So, I'm going to be upfront about this. The I do not have it in me to solve all of this 100% by myself. This is a massive, massive post-game that we're delving into. And it was done because the creator of Environmental Station Alpha actually mentioned that he really loves the concept of making an ARG, an alt alternate reality game. The kind of game that's, the kind of puzzle that's so complex and so nuanced that no one person can solve it. It takes a community of people, it takes a mass of people, all ramming their heads against everything in order to solve it. And that's what the post-game is. So, um, I'm not exactly sure where the hint leading to the next section of the game is. It may very simply have been, we expect you to explore and bump your head on things until you find something. But after you find something, it's going to make everything else make a little more sense. And so I'll say the first thing that we need to look for is specifically the four pillars. So we need to get out of here, for one, and we need to go... I think this is where one of them is. If it's not, then um, we'll just get a head start on another part of post-game. There are a lot of different steps and stages to post-game, and you can honestly do various parts of them at different points. Where was it? Was it here? Here we are. You'll notice I'm still on the map, really. All these pink blocks are destructible. And that, I feel like, is something that, if you're just exploring the station, trying to find something, you may happen upon that. It was obvious it was just a couple blocks sitting there. And you see, Pillar 1 has now been unlocked. Well, I should probably go make an attempt to find Pillar 2. Truth be told, I'm not sure where Pillar 2 is. But I'm gonna save. And I'm gonna get to a teleporter, where we can figure out where the next pillar is and what the best method of getting to it will be. There's a point in this game where you stop jumping entirely and just dash everywhere. Ah, I could have jumped. It was one block, but I didn't. Okay, so you'll notice the coordinates there in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Nine, four. That is over nine, down four. And it is zero indexed. So you'll note up here is zero. One, two, three, four is where we are. 
The next pillar that we need to unlock is 14.8. Is that the one that I just unlocked? I think it may be. So that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yes, that's indeed the first one that I already unlocked. The next pillar we're looking for is at 2010. So if that's 8, 9, 10, and 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. This one I think I may have already done. But let's go check to be sure, because I'm quite sure it's this one here. And is this the one where the sequel with the um, special exit? Oh, there it is. All right, let's make our way back to a teleporter because we still have two more of these pillars to find. Um, I will be very upfront since this is not something a single person is even expected to be able to do. I am using effectively a large bit of text that explains this mess. So we're here at 19.8, so that's 19. Next up we're looking for 12.12. 12. So 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, and 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Hmm, I don't quite remember how to get to that one. Well, let's go find out. Okay, so you may remember this room as being the room right here, which held the second boss of the entire game, the Queen Beetle, or some such. And we came over here and fell down there and got the double jump. I think it has something to do with being in here. Aha! I'd be willing to bet that this one actually has there was no hint as to where these were. They simply expected you to face smash the walls until you found them. If only because these all of these rooms are also on the map. Like, they take up rooms that you can see here on the map. Don't worry, things are going to get more complicated soon. And then we can come out somewhere. Right, there we go. So that was pillar three, so we just need to find another teleporter at this point so we can make our way to pillar number four. I think there's a teleporter down here. So I do feel like if you were simply exploring around and trying to find things, you would at least try to get in all of the open spaces on the map. Like you can see there's an open space here, open spaces down here, one over here, one over here. I'd be willing to bet our next goal is maybe up here. Our next goal is, however, at 1212. So we are currently here at 2014, so that's 20. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, and we're at 14, 13, 12. 12, 12, no, that's the one we just got. I'm an idiot. 17, 8, 20, 19, 18, 17, and 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. I was right. It is up there. get there from here, perhaps.
over here, perhaps? I honestly forget this one. Oh, that looks suspicious. And that takes us here to... Pillar number four has been unlocked. That's all of them. We've opened all four pillars. So what do we do with all four of these pillars, you may ask? Well, the answer to that is back in the underwater sector. Oh, I gotta get out of here, which means I gotta get by this guy. So once again, just quickly making my way to a teleporter so we can get to the... underwater sector where our goal is. Because you'll also know there are a couple um, rooms down here. And we should try to make an attempt to get in those as well. They're just right over here. Remember, this is where we fought the jellyfish boss. There were some tremors at one point that jostled things up a little bit. Specifically, that changed around a couple blocks in here. There are dash blocks over this way, though we can't dash underwater. And there's these gold blocks over here. Then now that we have the gold key card, we can pass through. So I found the solution to this one entirely by accident, my first time playing through. There is a clue somewhere, one of the various computer terminals spread out somewhere in this labyrinth of a station does actually have the solution to this one. But what you have to do is stand on the moon and just wait. Just a moment. And you'll fall down here. Now this point at this point you need to go into status and go find your key card and turn it whoops off. Instant death spikes. It does not matter what your health is, they will kill you in one touch. You need your keycard turned off, obviously, or you're going to have a hard time getting through here. And this is very an interesting room. They have an exit should you need it. And we're taken from there into the dash maze. If you do not have There's nothing down here, but you just get a glimpse into what you're going to be dealing with. If you do not have the dash booster X, you are simply not going to get through this. And a glance up here at what you're going to be dealing with this way. You sadly cannot see the lower right-hand corner, but of all sections of this maze, the lower right-hand corner is the one that having a heads-up on is going to help you the least. As a heads-up, this area is exceptionally tricky. 
and these will all kill you in one try, and I have a very hard time with it. So I'm just going to go back up here with the key card on, and I'm going to save again. And then we're going to have a brief death montage as I do my best to get through here. Oh, we made it. Okay, that didn't take so many attempts. Thank heavens. You can break those if you want a quick trip back. Apologies if there is perhaps a little bit of choppy cutting for time here, as I do need to spend a at least a moment deciphering what some of these say whenever one of these pops up, but I'm going to be providing a translation for all of you. And this one says, if the pillars are active, they will be lured in, but their true residence is under the sand to which the road is blue. Prove yourself. Somewhere on the station, another one of the terminals that we happened upon, someone mentioned that there was theoretically a teleporter down to the surface of the planet that this station orbited. I forget where exactly this terminal is. But this is the teleporter. Down on the surface of the planet, I'm not sure what we're going to find. Why are you here?
can only hope that perhaps we actually managed to stop the virus. Perhaps. But this was, yet again, not the complete ending. You'll note from where you entered on the planet's surface, you were free to wander out to the right. It was open to you. However, what then was the deal with all of the pillars that we opened up? That we just went to the trouble of exploring the entire station to find? What is it then with all of these ancient all of this ancient writing and those who speak the ancient language. We've still explored very little in the end of the day. We've perhaps stopped the virus, but our real adventure is just beginning. Until next time, everyone. <laughs>